for breakfast today, I'm just making an egg white slash yolk scramble. I do this a lot when I have just random vegetables in the fridge or if I'm trying to get rid of stuff before it goes bad. So in here, I just cracked two egg whites and one egg yolk for some protein. And I have some oil heating up and I'm gonna just throw in my veggies, cook them for a little, and then throw in the eggs. Could do an omelet too and just let it sit and cook but I kind of like it all scrambled up that's what it looks like I just have a side of blueberries my favorite and that is breakfast today for lunch today I have been making this salad the last three days I'm obsessed with it because I've been really into beets lately so I just have in here some quinoa which I like to try to make either in the morning when I'm making breakfast just so it's cooled uh, or just keep it in the fridge so it's quinoa some purple cabbage parsley beets and I bought the vinegared beets by the brand love beets parsley some red onion and then I also have some what are they called pumpkin seeds they're in here somewhere too and yeah, this is so amazing. If you like feta cheese or goat cheese, that would go on here really well too. I'm not really crazy about cheese, so I leave it off, but this salad is really filling and it's so good. And then I just fixed it with salt, pepper, olive oil, and some lemon juice. If the beets weren't vinegared, I would have added a little bit of red wine vinegar too, cause just because I like the taste. Tonight for dinner, I made probably my most favorite way to eat pasta. I actually prefer this even over sauce, like putting sauce on it. I just cut up a whole bunch of fresh, fresh veggies, whatever you and your family like. I used zucchini, yellow squash, a orange pepper, artichoke hearts, and some olives. And then I throw, well, I, so I cook in garlic and oil. I cook the zucchini. And the peppers until they get soft and then once they're soft I put in the tomatoes and I usually use plum tomatoes the olives and the artichoke hearts those don't really need a lot of time to cook and I don't like the tomatoes to get too mushy so I throw those in at the end meanwhile I boil the pasta again using whatever pasta you and your family like and once your veggies are kind of soft and cooked I just take a mug of the pasta water and I pull that out, I trans transfer the pasta into here. I add a little bit just to make it a little bit gooey and you don't want too much, but it just kind of helps to marry everything. And then I throw on some fresh parsley and fresh grated Parmesan cheese. And obviously you want to salt and pepper your veggies throughout. That is it. And it is so fresh and so light and so good. And it doesn't make you feel bad for eating carby pasta. <laughs> But this is awesome and you can definitely tailor it to you and your family's preferences but 
This also makes for really nice leftovers the next day for lunch. You guys definitely need to try this. It's super easy and probably something you guys already make, but sometimes some of the easiest things are the hardest to even think of. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. You end up using less product. So I just spray it directly on and we're gonna go. And you can see pretty instantly the coverage that it gives you.